going to replace the old piston with a new piston you can see the new piston groove is very nice as new it will be very nice only no doubt in it and why the reason we are changing the piston is i will show you the condition of uh, the old piston which is already damaged you can see the piston grooves is already broken and you can see the grooves are totally damaged and still if you are uh, fitting a new piston ring it will again get damaged so it is always advisable to go for a new one because it's a aluminium piston so aluminium alloy piston so this is the new one so now we are going to uh, do the fit up uh, for this uh, piston so you can see from inside all this small small hole and all it is all lube oil hole for uh, lubrication so first thing this is the gudgeon pin this is the old gudgeon pin you can see the heart marks in it and this is the new gudgeon pin where uh, where there is no indication of any any darkness means uh, no overheater like it's a new actually so we are renewing uh, both both the piston and gudgeon pin are going to renew and uh, new piston rings so all we are going to install so okay see the condition of the old piston you can see the groove very closely it is very much damaged and uh, okay now we are going to fit the piston rings so this uh, particular uh, piston rings don't have any special tool to fix the ring so we always use a small uh, racks to extend the piston ring so before that just give you a layer of uh, lube oil on the surface of uh, piston so that uh, uh, it will be easy for the piston ring installation so okay so again you give you a layer of uh, lube oil coat for the piston ring also and uh, put a oil oil on inside the groove also so additionally it, it is simple so lube oil only so now we are going to fix the piston ring so as i said for this smaller piston and all there is no any specific tool for uh, expanding we either we use small racks to do that this is the scrapper ring so means uh, this is oil scrapper ring so no need to expand it it can be easily done with the help of hand but the other ring top uh, both the ring top three rings we have to do the expansion with the help of small rags so again the same thing give a coat of uh, lube oil and uh, I, what i do is i will always uh, carry a small bit of uh, rags uh, so we need two person to do this work because both the side the piston ring has to be expanded equally so little care should be taken so because uh, sometimes the racks get stuck between the grooves and ring so that should be avoided so this is how we have to do just uh, take out and uh, expand it and fix it inside just give a small compression inside the groove just to ensure it is okay so we are going back to the next ring again the same same method we are going to follow just give you a coat of lube oil and again uh, with the help of racks just give you a small expansion do not expand it too much expand it very little so that uh, its original property don't get dissolved so okay so now the second thing we are going to install the same way just expand and fit it inside the groove okay i said you earlier sometimes there are chances for the racks get stuck so that thing you have to check it properly so sometimes what happened when the racks get stuck even the small pieces which is get inside the groove can affect it so that ensure that you are giving proper air blow or removing all the cloths which is getting stuck between the line uh, between the piston ring and grooves that is the main thing that you have to keep it in mind when you are using rags to install the piston ring just check the movement of piston ring it is okay just press it 
one side it should come on the other side obviously both are new so it should come so next thing we are going to fit for the top ring so again the same formula same way give a coat of lube oil take a rags pull it both the side equally bring it down towards the groove and keep it inside that's all so all three rags are in place now uh, piston ring part is already done so now the next part is we need to install the connecting rod and have to install the gudgeon pin so this uh, piston ring has to be in proper angle that we can set when we are going to fit in place now no need just we fit the ring and it is okay so next is uh, we have to fix the connecting rod which i am going to do now so this connecting rod uh, uh, the small and small and bearing is already changed the bigger one is good so we are not touching that one the smaller one we are uh, changing so it got two circlip on both the side so those two circlip should be renewed it's always better to renew so first circlip we have to install before the gudgeon pin is installed so because uh, when we are fitting the gudgeon pin the other end it acts like a stopper so you can see uh, okay this is the gudgeon pin again a layer of uh, lube oil coat over the gudgeon pin and make sure uh, the connecting rod is properly inside properly okay so we are fitting the uh, gudgeon pin one side just give a lube oil coat inside the groove so that the pin goes smoothly inside the groove also so that's all just install the gudgeon pin till it comes out from the one side of the groove so once it comes then what you need to do is you have to fix the connecting rod and the gudgeon pin passes through the connecting rod and uh, connects the other side of the piston so okay again uh, other side groove also we are giving some coat of lube oil and uh, inside the bearing also give a coat of lube oil okay fine we are done with it so the gudgeon pin is already passes through the connecting rod and it's on the other side of the piston so now we are going to we are done with the fixing up of uh, gudgeon pin now we need to fit the stopper which is your yeah it's already fixed properly okay snap ring we are going to finish fix it so again when you are fixing your snap ring be very careful sometime it may fly and you have to ensure it is properly installed inside the groove so that you don't mess it up okay so okay this is a snap ring be careful when uh, installing the snap ring as i said uh, there are uh, several inju injuries which has been reported while installing and uh, removing the snap ring because it flies and it hit the eye so it got injuries it's in the groove just turn it very gently so that uh, it ensure it is inside the groove so okay this side is done and uh, we go for the opposite side of the piston and fix one more split, uh, snap ring so again uh, since we are uh, changed all new we are using the new snap ring so that uh, no issues will come because anyway it's a damaged one so damaged piston of course this uh, snap ring old snap ring must have gone under or something so this is the direction that we need to see when you are fitting up the snap ring this smooth 
surface should be always facing towards you and the flat surface should be facing towards the yeah now the snap ring is already fixed it's in place now but it is not properly inside the groove again we are going to check it properly because it is not perfectly coming so we give some uh, moment on the other side so that this goes yeah now it goes properly yes it is done it is in place so okay it is turning freely okay so we are done with the piston and connecting rod installation okay then next part we will go for <laughs>